Hey guys, Pastor Preston is my name. So, I want to talk to you about how to sustain that first excitement, fire, happiness, and joy without having it to dwindle, with, without having it to depreciate. Okay, you know, when you meet someone, right, um, there's that first excitement, there's that joy, there's that sweetness you know you you're so excited about them you're so you know so full of joy as time begins to prolong as time begins to go things begin to calm down right before you see you you, you start quarreling you start having issues here and there and then you're not trying to balance to see whether you need a friendship or not and all that good stuff what really um, do we really need to do to sustain that first momentum? Okay, um, this is the thing. Naturally, when we meet people for the first time, because we're excited about them, we don't pay attention to their wrong. We're just trying to salvage the moment. We're trying to enjoy the moment. Okay, and then because they're new in our space, okay, we just want to enjoy all that they bring or all that they offer. But time now begins to offer criticalness. So they begin to you begin to move from just that point of wanting to enjoy them to discovering them. And in the place of trying to discover them, you become a little bit critical and then you begin to notice. Okay, so that's why you see people tell you that time will reveal truth. Okay, yeah. But when we just met, I'm giving you my a game i'm giving you my best side right which will mean that i am performing right from my uh, conscious state as against a meeting from my unconscious state okay and when i'm uh, performing from my conscious state i am being conscious of every single thing i do and say that we walk right okay so then you enjoy that space right so same thing happens from everybody and all the ball by the time Time begins to pass okay i begin to unveil my unconscious self which is re referred to as my real self and once that begins to unveil itself right um i am not very cautious anymore like i was before right and thus i just bring all of me right and then of course that's where hot starts and challenges starts because at this point now you know i am not playing to the game i'm not playing to the cards i'm just being me and then if i am not compatible with that environment that person that i'm with right then we begin to disagree then we start having issues so let me teach you what i think will work okay this is the thing Right, when you live with people, for you to continue to enjoy them, because the Bible tells us, rejoice evermore. Again, I say rejoice. And that statement is Philippians 4 4. Before Philippians 4 4, there's a Philippians 4 2, where two sisters were having an issue, and Paul was trying to address them because somehow they have lost their joy for each other. Okay, so what do we really do? So I'll tell you, as time begins to go, right, continue to pay attention to those nice things that they have done right and as much as you begin to know them don't pay attention to their wrong only pay attention to their right this is very deep if you will learn to pay attention to people's right be critical about their right and not their wrong and remember all of the nice things that they have done you will continue to enjoy them but you see the natural structure for which we have been fashioned which is of carnality and not of eternity states that as we begin to go on we want to unveil who people are and we begin to pay attention and critically want to find that the negative about themselves you begin to say things like your like say things in your mind like uh, this is too good to be to be true and once you say this is too good to be true you now want to find that what is not good about what seems to be too good and of course if you seek you find and once you find watch this how stupid it is you will now take that little error you have found to disapprove of all that nice beautiful nice that you enjoy isn't that stupid when even the bible says that man is free no human being is perfect no human being humans were not created perfect neither are they perfect the perfection that you found is the best that they have learned from god and we keep learning till we exit this world so no human is perfect if you settle that in your mind then you'll be able to love people then you'll be able to 
cohabit with people you'll be able to socialize with people but once you're looking for perfect people that even you yourself is not then there'll be trouble you know it's so unfor unfortunate and pathetic how imperfect people are looking for perfect people did you see that they're imperfect in themselves but they want someone to be perfect that's wrong that's bad that's wickedness gift yeah, is gross wickedness that you are you are not perfect and you're looking for perfect people so don't pay attention to people's wrong pay attention to their right what they know how to do beautifully well and then love them from there continue to remember all the good things that they have done and never remember the bad things that they have done and you see that you come into a perfect state with people and this will help your mind this will help your godliness and this will cause you to enjoy people now the big one i know someone will say what if they are wrong can cause a great harm now this is the point if you stumble on a wrong in the in, in 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 the people that can cause you great harm then you take a precaution in that area you see that you take a precaution you don't judge them as that wrong you only guide yourself against that wrong neither should you be suspecting them about that wrong every time they show up no okay so it's just like they told you that this road is is broken what do you do you stop taking that route but that will not make you say, oh, well, I won't take road again. Can you imagine road can be broken but for work? Now, that I can't, I won't take road anymore. No, you just don't take the area that is broken, right? And then when they fix that area, you start to take it again. So look at human being in that perspective, right? When you feel that you have a certain area that's not right, you avoid, okay, right? And then, listen here, once they fix that part, you quickly embrace it so you don't judge them and say at ah, this part are you sure it's been rightly fixed and all that stuff no you don't behave like that that's very important listen love the bible says love cover a multitude of offense that's what peter says and that's so wonderful listen here the people who you think um you know are enjoying great relationship it's not because they are with perfect people it's because they are mature and they they, are, they have learned patience and they know how to salvage and enjoy such relationship okay i remember one time i was talking to uh, uh a man who had been married for a long time right that would be pastor eugene's dad and then we asked a simple question we said how come have you been to live for this long several years if not up to 50 years in marriage or more than 50 years in marriage i guess or around 50 years in marriage right right how come have you been to live like that guess what he said he said because i close one eye and i open one eye he said if you be able to live like that then you will just enjoy and live a great life he says i don't pay attention to the wrong things that my wife do i only pay attention to the nice and the sweet things that she does that's some great lessons why i know i know if the wrong part can kill you <laughs> run okay if the wrong part can kill you notice what i said that's why i said every wrong that will be destructive that will cause problem and all that what do you do you avoid those route that area okay so you can actually sustain sweetness it can continue to just be beautiful because you have learned how to manage people and then in wisdom in maturity you have known how to dwell with people stop looking for perfect people just look for complete people and if you find incomplete persons it is your responsibility as a godly mature to be a, and be patient with them in hope that they will get better thank you and god bless you